Oh, hey friends. Man, I am so thirsty. Whew. I just got done exercising. Do you guys ever exercise? Wow, well, it made me so tired. And now I need some water. You know, Pastor Jake and I just got a new fridge and it is so cool. You take your cup and you just go up to it and press a button and cold water comes, oh, sorry. It comes pouring into your cup. It's the best. But listen guys, I'm gonna have to walk all the way to the kitchen to get it. What? You don't think the kitchen is that far? Well, maybe it isn't. But why I'm this thirsty and tired, it seems like such a far walk. Listen, you're gonna have to hold on guys. I just, I need some water. Can you wait just a second while I go get some? I'm gonna walk all the way to the kitchen, okay? Just a second, hold on, okay? Two hours later. So much better. Man, I was so thirsty. You know, I was reading in the Bible this week a story about a woman who had to walk so far to get her water. Like every day. She had to leave her house, go outside, and then walk super far to a well, which is like this big hole dug into the ground surrounded by stone where you can get water from. Then she'd get to the well and she'd have to lower a bucket down into the hole and then pull the bucket out again. And then dump the water into a pot so that she could carry it back to her house. Talk about a lot of work for water. And I thought walking to the fridge was a lot of work. Today, we are going to see Jesus talk to this woman about something called living water. Are you sure what that means? Not sure, you're about to see. But first, we need a quick recap. Can anyone remember what we've been talking about for the last several weeks? I bet a lot of you know, but if you don't, that's okay. We've been talking about Jesus' time here on earth. Last week, we learned about Jesus talking with Nicodemus, the Pharisee. We learned that God's love isn't earned by us following all the rules and laws, but God's love for us was given as a gift. Jesus told Nicodemus that God loved the world, us, so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins, and that whoever believes in Jesus would have eternal life. That's good news. Nicodemus reminded us that we can stand up for what God says is right, even if the people around us don't. In today's story, Jesus goes to a town called Samaria. Jewish people and Samaritans did not get along. They weren't really what you called friends. But Jesus came to earth to love everyone. So let's see what happens. It's time for Story Mode! Eventually, Jesus came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat down beside the well around noontime. Soon, a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Please, give me a drink. Remember, in order to get water from the well, you had to lower a container down into it and pull it back up to fill it with water. Now, Jesus wasn't with the disciples during the story because the disciples had gone into town to buy some food. So it was just Jesus and the Samaritan woman. The woman was surprised by what Jesus said because the Jewish people refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? If you only knew the gift that God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. 
There is that phrase, living water. Hello? Did somebody ask for living water? Oh, <laughs> hello. I don't think Jesus was talking about you. I don't think he meant water that actually is alive. <laughs> well, you did say living water, and uh, here I am. <laughs> Silly cup, that is not what Jesus was talking about. Let's get back to the story. But sir, you don't have a rope or a bucket, and this well is very deep. Where would you get this living water? You see? She said my name again, living water. Shh, you old cop. They are not talking about you. They are talking about a different kind of living water. Now, let me get back to this story. Anyone who drinks this well water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water that I give, the living water will never be thirsty again. In fact, the water that I give will become a well inside of you and you will have eternal life. You see, Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, I won't have to keep coming to this well to get water. The woman asked Jesus for this water, but she thinks it's a physical drink. She will drink to never get thirsty again. Yeah, I don't think they were talking about me. <laughs> no, I told you. Jesus responds to her by telling her a ton of things about her past. The Samaritan woman had made some really bad choices and Jesus knew about all of them, but still loved her anyways. The Samaritan woman was amazed by how much Jesus knew about her without ever having met her before. She said, I know the Messiah, the Savior is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. I am the Messiah. The woman left and told the people in her town. Come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Many Samaritans believed in Jesus because of what the woman said, and many more believed because of what Jesus said. They told the Samaritan woman, we no longer believe because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this really is the savior of the world. That is so cool that Jesus took time to talk to one woman. He cares so much for us that he takes time to meet with us wherever we are. The Samaritan woman had made so many bad choices and Jesus knew about all of them and still wanted to spend time with her. Jesus was teaching the woman that he has something better to offer than physical water. He gives us himself. Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who comes to him by faith. Yeah, he wasn't talking about water that comes alive, but I learned that he makes us come alive. His love fills me up like water. That's right. Let's pray that God will fill us up with even more of his love today.